Hello, it's Aubrey Shepard on the 21st of November 2016 in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Let's see, we've got a golf fritillary butterfly and then a female monarch. Probably won't see any more of those this season, any fresh ones, but I'll keep watching some of the places that have a lot of uh, native plants and even non-native ones still in bloom. So that's a moth is the featured item here with white tipped wings. Okay, this is another view of a gulf fritillary and they do uh, migrate back down south for the winter. This is a, a painted lady butterfly. You can see some spots on her wing, her lower part of her wing, little dark spots. That's how you can tell that from a American lady butterfly. Very similar, but totally different in some ways. Okay, I hope you had a nice Thanksgiving by the time you watch this. Just something to go with the season. And then we'll go with some leaf photos and some Canada geese. That's on the lake at Bella Vista, the one that uh, a lot of people want to return to its status as a flowing stream and others love having the lake. So I think it's going to stay a lake for a while longer. Okay, this is another painted lady butterfly and uh, it's on a non-native flower and it's now this is a sad situation because that house was about to be torn down it's going to become its lot will become part of the regional national cemetery in Fayetteville, arkansas and it certainly like world peace wetland prairie has some areas that are should be listed as wildlife habitat. And Fayetteville was the first city to be named a habitat community in Arkansas. This is a national cemetery where veterans are, are buried. And it's the reason for the uh, 5K race last week that we saw some photos from. This is a view down toward the public library from the national cemetery and it's uh, looking north on Government Avenue, just showing off the zoom lens there a little bit. That's the Tiffany's house, which is also next to the National Cemetery, and it'll probably be part of the National Cemetery in some years coming. This is the house a day after it was taken down, or the afternoon it was taken down on Sunday or Saturday maybe. Anyway, it's gone but the debris is there waiting for another dumpster or two to come show, uh, take it away. Hope that metal roof, precious metal roof, gets somewhere on somebody else's house and, and does somebody some good because that's expensive and it really lasts a long time. Obviously it lasted longer than that house did. This is just a picture of the uh, permit to destroy a house. <laughs> And you do have to have a permit. A lot of developers don't want to get a permit and don't want to wait to get permission. They just tear things down and they disappear. But most of them in Fayetteville follow the rules. Another painted lady. Doggone it, I love that butterfly. And since it was the last fairly large butterfly that was uh, active at South Fayetteville last week, um, that's the photo I brought for you. Till next time, do your part. Water clean, air pure, and the woods green. Okay, for the second uh, part of our show today, we, uh, on the 17th of, I'm sorry, the 21st of November, we've got a trip to Little Rock, and the main photos I have are just foliage, trees and other things along the highway, 
parts. It was so cold when we left Fayetteville that I couldn't use my camera till we got down to the uh, <laughs> Interstate 40. And so we hope to have some photos from that. Uh, there we go. We're on Interstate 40, traveling to Little Rock. Yeah, plane flying over. And uh, I remember living in Little Rock when most of these trees along the edges weren't there. They've grown up, they've grown up in the median. This is going east on Highway Interstate 40. But they are beautiful trees, but relatively young. You know, some of them look pretty big, but say they're 25, 35 years old. Uh, it was 50 years old, ago or more when the interstate was built through there. So some of them are, are that old, of course. Now we're crossing part of the uh, one of the rivers that flows into uh, Lake, uh, well, let's see, this is where the actual Arkansas River, are we right here? Uh-huh, I believe so. Uh, that's a new bridge, a walking bridge you see in the background there. And uh, it goes out to an island uh, in the river. Here's the um, Sierra Club uh, State Board meeting. And two people that left came to complain about some sewage problems in the Little Rock area. And uh, Sierra Club often uh, gets involved in small things and big things that are going on that need uh, help. Okay, you recognize that, uh, well, this man is Tom McKinney. He was driving me there, and he's the longest standing member of the Arkansas Sierra Club, quite possibly. I remember meeting him in 1974 in Fayetteville at a meeting of the Sierra Club in the old public library that people are beginning to forget ever existed up on north, uh, on east Dixon. But anyway, these are some of the things I saw on the trip home from Little Rock. You can see the, the cuts in the mountainside where the streams obviously come off of the tops. You see the beautiful, beautiful colors late in the afternoon on the, what was that, the 20, the 19th of uh, November 2016. Anyway, I didn't make a lot of up close pictures just for this show. I just wanted to run a few of these in the spirit of enjoying fall foliage and uh, sorry I couldn't do better, but you know we were doing 70 miles an hour. <laughs> Well, I made most of these pictures, so the fact that any of them work is a credit to my camera, not to me. But uh, anyhow, I enjoyed the ride because of the foliage and, and the other beauty spots along the highway and everything with that uh, uh, big spewing of smoke. Okay, there's evidence that uh, Lauren was having a work day at World Peace Wetland Prairie, planting some things she transplanted. We don't buy things to plant. We transplant native things, somewhat sprinkle seed, like all this is native grass you're seeing in that, that picture. And, uh, but we'll see what comes up from what she put in yesterday or this weekend and uh, find out uh, how well her planting went. Till next time, do your part to help keep the water clean, your pure, and the woods clean. See ya.